So let's imagine for a moment that we're taking a walk on a straight path and eventually we come to a fork in a road. Now at the fork we have several options. We can either take one pathway that will lead us to one place or we can take a different pathway that will lead us to a different place. Now in the same way when certain compounds react different pathways are possible and each pathway will lead us will lead us to a different compound. So let's examine the following example. Let's say we have the following two compounds. We have hydrochloric acid react with an alkene. Now two different pathways are possible. In other words, this Lewis base can take this H atom and follow pathway 1 in which the H atom goes on this side of the carbon. So on this carbon it attaches to the second carbon of the double bond or it can take pathway 2 in which the Lewis acid takes this H and attaches that H to the other side of the double bond to this carbon. So we can either take pathway 1 and form a tertiary carbocation or we can take pathway 2 and form a primary carbocation. In each reaction a different product is formed. So when our reaction takes pathway 1 we form one product. When our reaction takes place and follows pathway 2 we form a different product. So if a reaction takes place on an unsymmetrical compound such as this alkene, unsymmetrical simply means if we cut this in half the left is different from the right. So if a reaction takes place on an unsymmetrical compound different pathways are possible and this is known as regiochemistry. Regiochemistry is basically the study of the different pathways that our two reactants can take. Now in the reaction above pathway 1 is more favorable, it's more likely to occur and that's because this intermediate carbocation, this tertiary carbocation is more stable than this primary carbocation and we'll examine that in a future lecture. So because pathway 1 is more favorable, it's more stable, it's more likely to take place. And generally, when a reaction can occur in several ways and one of the pathways predominates, the reaction is called regioselective. So this reaction is regioselective because pathway 1 predominates over pathway 2. Pathway 1 is more likely to take place because this intermediate is more stable than this intermediate. Now in such a reaction one of the final products predominates and this, and this is known as regiospecific reaction. So this reaction is regioselective because pathway 1 predominates. It's more likely to take place and because pathway 1 predominates the product of pathway 1 will also predominate. And so this reaction is also known as regiospecific.